Well, listen, Ilya came to me a few years back uh, telling me about this crazy idea has of, of, you know, creating a free TV. Uh, you know, back then and, you know, since I left Magnite, what I've been mainly doing is investing uh, and advising companies and sitting on boards. And um, it's been really rewarding. Uh, but back then when, you know, Ilya came to me, yeah, of course, I was like, that sounds like a crazy idea. Sure. <laughs> so I do, yeah, I gave him some money because I believe in Ilya. Of course, you know, Ilya was a big client of ours. Uh, I was really impressed up, of course, with what he did with Pluto, you know, bringing free, essentially TV to the market. Uh, and he grew that to, uh, you know, an amazing size and had a successful exit. So, you know, backing a winner, I, I put money in. Yeah, I, I didn't really think much of it. Um, you know, I was like, this is going to be really challenging for um, Ilya, you know, building a TV, so a hardware software solution, much less, you know, giving it away for free. Came back a year later, uh, you know, raising another round, gave an update, and I was like so impressed with what they had done. Uh, the, the team is incredible. They execute, they do such a good job. And of course, you know, they built an incredible product, uh, the TV, uh, complete with, you know, the uh, the sound bar and the second screen, which we can get into. Um, but, you know, so I started advising uh, and mentoring as much as I could uh, and helping them out just, you know, if they needed to hire someone, et cetera. And um, it was really when um, just recently, uh, as I started to, you know, get more involved, I saw what a massive opportunity this is. I mean, I truly believe that, um, you know, they're, Tele is going to be the number one TV brand uh, in the U.S. at the very least. You know, the I, I think once I understood uh, the business model, right? They built a beautiful product, and they actually uh, proved that people want it. Uh, they have a huge waiting list, uh, and then they actually prove that people use it, and they use it twice as much as their normal TV. Uh, and then they prove that advertisers. Uh, and, and uh, you know, those that want to license the data, they're very interested. So I think once all those things uh, came together, I came to that conclusion that it, 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 it's, you know, this this free offering, particularly with the quality of the product, it's going to scale incredibly fast. And again, I, I, I just was like, this is this is too much for me to to pass up. And and so I I actually went to Ilya. He didn't come to me. And I was like, listen, I got to be involved somehow. Uh, you know, I'm a sales oriented leader. Uh, that's kind of my background. That's, you know, what I did at SpotX and all the companies that I've started over the past 30 years. Of course, I had an incredible team. Uh, and uh, we went from there. And, and yeah, here we are announcing that uh, I'm joining as uh, chief revenue officer. So, Mike, what is the opportunity for brands uh, on the tele uh, platform that's different uh, than you know, uh, other smart TVs. What what what's what's sure. what, what's the opportunity there for for brands? Yeah, I mean, you know, backing up, right? So, um, you know, for those watching this and that may not be you know totally familiar with um, Tele, yeah, you know, I, I, they've come to the market. Their first priority is to come to the market with just a feature rich TV, right? It's it's you know. If you look at the you know TV manufacturing industry, right? There's there hasn't been a lot of innovation out there. What you have is manufacturers out there who are trying to you know build better TVs from the perspective of say better quality, um, you know, glass, etc., uh, higher resolution. But but beyond that, it hasn't really innovated. What they're doing is they it's just a low margin business, and so anything that they add to it. Uh, typically maybe something they're adding that they're not going to recoup in terms of the, the the sale. So, you know, Telly's just turned it on its head. They said, listen, we're going to come to the market with the highest quality feature rich product. We can come out with beautiful 55 inch screen, high definition with a, an amazing sound bar from Harman Kardon and a incredible like informational, uh, really useful, you know, second navigation screen, which is the smart screen. And, uh, you know, essentially went to market and said, not only is this the best thing you can get, by the way, it also has a camera in it for Zoom calls, et cetera. Not only, you know, are we bringing this, but we're going to give it for free. And typically the, the assumption is free is cheap, but it's the opposite here. And the reason it's the opposite is because we want to engage users 
as much as possible. And so with the tele TV, you're going to continue to see, you know, uh, advancements in terms of, uh, you know, partnerships, apps, uh, et cetera, that are just going to enhance, uh, you know, the user experience and also just encourage more and more use. Uh, so, you know, answering your question, you know, because they're giving it for free, when you sign up, you, you basically, you know, provide all this information. There are a number of questions that uh, are asked. It will give them insight into buyer intentions, psychographics. Of course, they know uh, demographics as well. So you have all this data. And on top of that, we have all the audience, you know, the, the, what they're watching. So, uh, you know, what programs are they watching? Uh, you know, of course, you know, what uh, commercials they've seen. Uh, and then, you know, of course, we have information such as, you know, their credit card. You have to sign up with a credit card, even though it's free, email address, contact info, et cetera. So I think tying all of that together, it's a, it's a very rich environment uh, in terms of uh, the audience data. But that's not just it. We also can actually tell if people are in the room, right? So uh, you know, you can, you know, essentially see if someone's watching an ad. Was there someone in the room? Was there two people, three people, four people, etc.? Uh, which is incredibly powerful. And, and really, at the end of the day, then when you combine all of that, uh, you're talking about kind of the the most rich. Uh, and from a depth and breadth environment from audience data that, that you can have. Uh, and so I think that just brings so much power to the advertisers. But then there's more. <laughs> uh, you know, the fact that there's this second screen. And so we, we know, you know, as far as, you know, a typical TV, smart TV, the real estate is the real estate. Uh, and so when you're seeing an ad for an OEM, the opportunity to make an ad, you know, a, a, an ad impression is on the home screen or partnering with the content partner. But the second screen, which seems like a really simple innovation that, that's right below the sound bar, it, it allows uh, Tele to, to serve ads down there. And so, you know, for the hours of usage that are being, you know, there, uh, that the person is using the TV, Tele is delivering ads that whole time. So it, it, it actually creates a lot of opportunities, not just for, you know, high impact brand advertising, but a, a, a lot of opportunities for some really neat, um, creative, uh, and targeting implementations. Mike, and finally, uh, you've been in the advanced TV world for a number of years. We've, uh, reported on you guys and your innovation. What's exciting, you know, obviously tell is exciting, but, uh, at this moment of transformation of television, what, what's exciting for you? What, what's the opportunity do you think? And where, where should, where, where should the industry be leaning? Yeah, that's a great question. So, you know, the thing that makes me so excited really uh, about Telly uh, specifically is, you know, I've, I've come in, I'm an investor, right? Obviously, I've told you I'm impressed. I've, I've come in and now I'm involved in working with the team and I'm starting to get a sense of, you know, how many conversations they're having and how the depth of conversations they're having uh, with the brands out there the agencies out there, all the programmatic partners out there uh, and the content partners. And that's, and, and that's just those. There's, there's a lot of other partners we're talking to that are really leaning in. Uh, and, and at this stage, that's just unbelievable to see. So I think, you know, I mean, I can only speak to Telly. I'm just, they're set up for success. Everybody's rooting for it. Uh, you know, for me, this is a, a just a, a giant opportunity that I had to be part of. Uh, and, you know, I think for us, you know, probably the biggest challenge, at least on the, the revenue side for the company, is to maintain focus and not try to do too much. Because there are so many different opportunities we can pursue. You know, for instance, you know, with our ACR data, people watching content, we can see that they saw a certain ad. Maybe it's a Mazda ad. What we can do is actually deliver a Mazda ad. Uh, for the smart screen takeover to really kind of uh, lift the, the the brand impact of that advertising campaign. And then we can follow up and continue to follow up with, uh, you know, Mazda ads to reinforce that, that previous campaign to make sure we get the right frequency there. So like, that's one example. And honestly, every day I'm with these guys, they have new uh, ideas. It's, it's actually hard to keep up with. Uh, I feel like I'm drinking from a fire hose, 
But, um, you know, I think for us right out of the gates, we're going to, you know, we're going to go out to the market. We're going to educate the market on, you know, the opportunities that are there now for advertisers. And then, you know, as we continue to scale, we're going to release, you know, new functionality, new opportunities for advertisers, for uh, data partners, et cetera. Uh, that I, I think is just going to be a lot of fun to watch. And honestly, at the end of the day, I think what we're doing is going to upend the TV industry. There's no doubt, you know, the telly is going to be the number one brand. And I think it's going to force kind of the the entire TV industry to, to, to really maybe change how they approach, uh, you know, selling uh, TVs.